Hello everyone, this is the mind of Lilith and thank you for joining me today. I wanted to quickly share my thoughts about a story that the Empress Radio channel posted pertaining to an IG comment that Martel made underneath Sheree's post. So I haven't spoken about Love and Marriage Huntsville since Martel posted videos of Melody so-called abusing him a few months ago and I've pretty much mentally disconnected from the show while I was in hermit mode over the past several months. So shout out to the Empress Radio channel because she is one of the original content creators who would curate Love and Marriage Huntsville content and I would use her videos to avoid jumping into the cesspool of social media. So when I watched Martel's domestic violence video, I did not feel sorry for him. I was like, oh my God, my lady looks so cute with the blonde bob. And I've stated in the past that out of all the looks that Melody has tried over the years, her season one blonde bob looks the best to me and she's really cute with it. So anyway, from those videos that Martel posted, I gathered that Martel would intentionally trigger Melody and record her reacting to his abuse. He did not sound scared in those recordings. He knew Melody could not and would not physically harm him. She could barely swing that vase at the car. So to be quite honest, the abuse that we've seen Melody endure on camera was a hundred times worse than what Martel put on Instagram. I'm not condoning domestic violence, but I know reactionary abuse when I see it. Melody was fighting for her money and for her sanity. Because as we all know, Martel was ruthlessly trying to emotionally and psychologically destroy her so that she would end up like Arion, lost, defeated, and codependent on him. I don't know how Martel thought he could make Melody look like a big back violent beast after all the mess he put her through. He has videos of Melody abusing him, so to speak, but where are his videos of Melody catching him cheating with Arion? Where are Martel's videos of him and Arion hanging out while he was married and Melody was pregnant? He'd rather post videos of his ex-wife instead of the woman he's been having sex with for a decade. So anyway, recently Martel posted some fire emojis under Sheree's heavily filtered post and wrote Mrs. Holt. He wrote Mrs. Holt because Melody officially changed her surname a few months ago, which I'm sure was a huge blow to Martel's toxic ego. And this is probably one of the reasons why Martel posted videos of Melody so-called abusing him. The abuse he experienced happened during their divorce after he stole tens of thousands of dollars of her money. He refused to leave their marital home and he did not allow Melody to take her own property. He instigated all the situations. So again, why does he think that we believe he was the innocent victim? My OG subscribers remember me saying that Martel is a narcissist who was triangulating with Arion when he was married to Melody. I also stated that once Melody divorced Martel, he would continue to triangulate with the memory of Melody to keep Arion in check and to put Arion in her place. Now that Melody has completely cut ties with Martel, Martel has no choice but to antagonize Arion the way he did Melody when they were married. Martel knows that Arion wants a commitment. She sacrificed her young, hot years to be a side piece to a very married man. Martel was so married that he got Melody pregnant twice while they were having their affair and he was filming a popular TV show with her. But because of Arion's ego and lust, she refused to see the writing on the wall. Now here she is three years after Martel's divorce has been finalized and she still has no ring, no commitment and he's embarrassing her or trying to embarrass her by calling another woman Mrs. Holt. Martel does not see Sheree as Mrs. Holt and if he ever married Sheree, which I doubt he will, he would only do so to hurt Arion and to try to replace Melody, who doesn't care what he does because his character as a man is trash. Also, it has not escaped me that the third anniversary of Martel's divorce or separation from Melody just passed recently. So he's probably feeling a bit sentimental and nostalgic about Melody. And so now he's taking out his frustrations on Arion by way of putting this Mrs. Holt post under Sheree's page. I also wouldn't be surprised if he was trying to take a jab at Melody as well, because again, this is the third anniversary of the divorce being finalized. I think Melody filed for divorce in March of 2020, and the divorce was finalized a year later. So we're around that time period where he's feeling some kind of way, and he may be trying to get back at or trigger Melody, especially and or Arion, because he can't cope with the fallout of his marriage. I wouldn't be surprised if Martel gives Arion hell on the anniversary of his divorce. 
So has Martel ever called Arion Mrs. Holt on social media after all the crow that Martel made Arion eat? Has he ever publicly acknowledged her as his romantic partner? Or is she still his homie and his friends after 10 years and a baby? More than likely, with the situation, Martel had another falling out with Arion, and he wanted to make her feel bad the same way he tried to do to Melody when he told Melody that Arion was satisfying him, or when he told Dr. Francis that he couldn't tell the difference between Melody's oranges and Arion's oranges. Like, imagine having four babies for your husband, keeping your body together, taking care of business, and your husband cannot differentiate between you and a woman that they're embarrassed to be seen with in public. So years ago, I stated that married people, especially men, have the proclivity to cheat with people who make it easier for them to stay married. Martel could not deal with the pressures of being married to a beautiful, ambitious woman. So he found a sugar baby who was easily impressed with Melody's money. When you're dealing with a narcissist, you oscillate between being the primary supply and the devalued and discarded idiot that should have known better than to reconcile with them. The narcissist never takes responsibility for their actions. They will try to blame you and then call you stupid for giving into their incessant begging and harassment. If you try to block or break up with the narcissist, they will chisel away at you for days, weeks, months, and sometimes even years to convince you that they've changed. And when you finally give in, like when Melody did when they were married, or like Arion keeps giving in to Martel now that they're divorced, narcissists like Martel will reward you with more punishment and abuse. They'll remind you of how stupid you were to take them back after their relentless begging because you knew what it was. You knew they had somebody else on the side. You knew that they weren't happy in this relationship. Not only will they blame you for taking them back, they'll blame you for why they reverted back to the same old behavior that caused you to break up with them in the first place. So at this point, if Ariane is still dealing with Martel, I have no empathy for her. I said that I would feel bad for her once she realized that she wasted her time with Martel. But you know, for the past several years, damn near the whole world has been warning Ariane about Martel. And if she hasn't gotten the hint yet, then I don't know what to tell her. If she does break up with Martel, he will flaunt another woman in her face while begging for her to reconcile with him the same way he did to Melody. Martel wasn't with Melody just for the kids or the business. He loved the way that she made him look in public. She elevated his social status. So even though in season one, Martel said that Melody wasn't a trophy because she wasn't satisfying him, AKA giving him oral sex. So on a side note, um, <laughs> years ago, somebody commented on Martel's page that he was pathetic because he fell in love with a woman because she sucked his penis. I was dying laughing and I still remember that content comment to this day. So anyway, Martel tried to act like Melody wasn't a trophy because he had Arion in his back pocket. Now he could show his ass. He could show Melody that he didn't need her. You know, he could be disrespectful to her because he had somewhere else fun to go to when he left his marital home. Now, after 10 years and brokenness and brokenness, baggage, a baby and a divorce, Arion is not the hot, fun, young distraction anymore. She is the embodiment of all of his mental, emotional, and financial problems. Arion's inadequacies constantly remind Martel of what he's lost with Melody. And I stated years ago that even though Martel defends Arion in public and private, he still blames her for his divorce. Even though he never defended Melody in public, and even though he got Arion pregnant multiple times, and even though he doesn't want to give Melody the satisfaction of admitting he made a mistake by cheating for half his marriage, Martel is still disgusted with Arion and himself for sabotaging his marriage. They both conspired together to take Melody down. But as I predicted years ago, when two narcissists don't have a third party to abuse, which would be in this case Melody, they end up turning on each other. Melody has completely removed her energy from this dynamic and now Arion and Martel have nothing else to feed on except each other's demons and regrets. So instead of blaming Melody for the fact that they can't be together because Martel was married, Arion and Martel are now blaming each other for their lives falling apart because hating Melody was the glue that kept them together because they were bullying her. But again, once Melody gave Martel to Arion, they could not vampire her energy anymore. Narcissists are energy vampires. They cannot be happy unless they're hurting, deceiving, or manipulating someone. And if you have the misfortune of becoming their primary supply, as Arion is now for Martel, 
the only time they'll allow you to be happy is if being with you is hurting somebody else or they're deceiving or manipulating you. Martel only treated Arion good or he treated Arion better when he thought he was hurting Melody. Now that he can't hurt Melody anymore, there is less of an incentive for him to treat Arion as good as he did when he was married. She's not as, as appealing to him as a side piece. It's all mind games and manipulation. You will never feel safe in a narcissistic relationship. There's always another shoe that's going to drop. And this is why Melody kept losing her temper with Martel. He kept triggering her with the lying, the disrespect, and the emotional abuse. She could never relax or feel safe with him for extended periods of time. Because Martel, like most narcissists, thrive on chaos and instability. If they're not doing it to you, they're doing it to someone else. And when they can't bring that shit to someone else, they'll bring it to you. It's all a game. Why would you call Sheree Mrs. Holt when you have no intention of being with her in a committed relationship? How are you a 40-year-old man playing these same high school games with a 50-year-old woman? Like most narcissists, Martel refuses to give Arion what she desperately wants, and he's doing this to maintain control over her. He's dangling a rotten old carrot in front of her. And what is that carrot? The carrot is marriage, love, commitment, acknowledgement, clout, for Arion, the carrot is the life that Melody had with Martel when she was married to him. Arion always wanted to replace Melody, especially after she saw the way they were living on the show. Arion knows that Martel has the potential to give her the fantasy that he sold to her. He used Melody to sell Arion the fantasy of who he was or who he wanted her to think he was. The head of the household, a good father, CEO of successful companies, a good husband. He was using Melody to market himself as a good catch to Ariana and other women. And Ariana is still operating under that programming like most women who are side pieces. They see how good the wife appears to be living and they will do anything, including having a side baby, to snatch some of the wife's happiness for themselves. And to be honest, you know, this is kind of a form of black magic. This is why most cases, side piece relationships uh, become more toxic and they backfire because black magic usually backfires. So Arion and Martel won't be able to move on with their lives until they acknowledge their own demons. And with the transit of Saturn and Pisces joining Neptune, the spell that Martel has over Arion is slowly beginning to break. She's starting to see him more clearly. And now that Melody has taken her fairy dust away from Martel, he doesn't look as alpha or glamorous as he used to. So Martel never wanted to be with Arion in a serious relationship. He just wanted to feel good about himself when Melody flexed her muscles. I'm not saying that Melody was perfect in their marriage and she didn't contribute to the breakdown of their relationship in some way, okay? We all can work on ourselves to some extent, fine. But no matter what Melody did, Martel would have found an excuse to be miserable and entitled especially since he saw Maurice and Marceau living like single men while they were in relationships. Marceau said that Martel messed up his life because he was comparing himself to other men, i.e. him, instead of focusing on the trophy he had in front of him. Martel thought if Marceau could get away with cheating, he should be able to as well, and that's why he kept saying he wished he had a wife like Tisha. You know, especially since Martel had more money and he's relatively more attractive in his mind um, than Martel and Marceau, that Marcel and Maurice, um, he felt like he had the right to cheat and have what these other men were experiencing. And when Melody tried to deny him what he felt he was entitled to, he got angry with her. He tried to destroy her because she had the audacity to be upset that he was having an affair. That is entitlement. You're getting upset with somebody because they won't allow you to disrespect them and hurt them. How dare you not let me use you and disrespect you and spend your money on another woman? not just any old woman, a woman that I'm allowing to disrespect you. How dare you get upset with me for spending your hard-earned money on a woman who hates you, a woman who I'm sleeping with, a woman who wants to replace you? So Martel again felt entitled to have an affair. And when Melody said, no, I'm not putting up with that. I'm too good for this. I don't need you enough to put up with the situation. He doubled down and tried to basically break her and mold her and shape her into the kind of woman that Tisha is, codependent and looking to her husband for validation, okay? Martel enjoyed the attention and the status that Melody brought him, which Arion cannot give him. And that is why he wears those tight ass clothes. He likes showing off his muscles and his body like a peacock. But peacocks can't fly, they're just pretty. 
Being married to Melody made Martell's peacock feathers look real shiny and sparkly. But now that he's divorced, he looks like a brown pigeon with muscles and booty shorts. And now he's kind of sort of losing control over Arion. Um, she's seeing that the Emperor has no clothes. All he has is tight booty shorts and flip-flops. He doesn't have a robe or a gown or crown jewels. He has nothing but his muscles and whatever clout that Melody brought to him as his wife. How are you going to use your wife's clout to make you look better to other women? Yo, that is crazy. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I look forward to reading your feedback. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon.